And I'm literally praying to every single god out there that this fits in my car. Because if not, I don't know what we're going to do. We're at PCHS and this was our office for about a year or so. We were running programs at the school. Uh, we have two storage spaces, but we're now told that we have to move our stuff out of the space because they're going to be using it. So now today we're just moving the stuff that we need for our summer camp, which starts on Monday. So I'm here with Steph, who you'll see in a second. <laughs> uh, Steph is the camp director. So we're just grabbing what we need and moving it to the school that will be running our camp but this will no longer be our space as of as of july 6th actually we have movers that are coming uh and then you know we'll move everything out We run programs at PCHS, but because of COVID, we weren't able to do anything in person. Uh, so as of September, we're hoping to do in-person activities. Um, I'm not sure where, <laughs> because we don't have a space here anymore. We are still keeping our office at Maison des Jeunes. We'll run meetings there, we'll store some stuff there, and then we're getting a new space uh, as of July 1st, but the movers come on July 6th to bring stuff from PCHS to our new space. We were running DJ workshops here. Uh, we did songwriting workshops, spoken word workshops. We did after school extracurricular um, and in school activities with the students, uh, but we'll continue to do that at our new space. So we're really, we're excited to have our own space. The light doesn't work in here. So that's why I'm standing here creepily in the dark, not because I'm some weirdo. So hopefully I could find everything that I could need in the dark. I mean, everything that I need, not even making sense. Uh, so I have some t-shirts stored here for our staff in summer camp. Um, I mean, we have all sorts of stuff, like this whole cabinet here is our summer camp cabinet. So I need to fit all this. Well, the cabinet itself needs to fit in my car, so finger crossed that it's actually gonna fit. Uh, so we're taking this. But these belong to school, so they're staying here. Uh, but the stuff on top is stuff from previous years from the camp, like this as well. Uh, so we're going to bring all this um, to our summer camp this year. Our camp starts on Monday, June 27th. So. We still have to do a second trip to bring stuff. So we're gonna come back, grab this box, this box, that box, the rest of this stuff. Um, the, the movers are gonna come on July 6th. I'm actually spotting things that I need to bring. I need to bring that screen. I see a projector. We need to bring that projector as well. So the big stuff is gonna be done by the movers basically. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's just t-shirts that are falling. Ugh, this is super dirty. Okay. So in my mind, I was going to do this alone. I'm not even joking. No, You're like, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to fit in my car. Well, we'll see. There's a big puddle there. Oh, no, it's not. It's the other door. <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous because I need this trolley. This is the first summer in two years that we're back in person. We actually launched our summer camp in 2018. So we ran a camp 2018, 2019, then 2020 and 2021, we were closed because of COVID. So this is now our first year back in person. We tried to do a virtual camp last summer, but it just wasn't the same. So there wasn't really much of an interest. So we're excited to actually have the kids back in person and do our activities again. We run a musical theater summer camp for kids age five to 12. So kids do theater, dance, music, 
lots of improv activities, they get to help make their props, and they do two shows. So the camp is eight weeks long, so at the end of week four, they do, um, normally it's like an adaption of a Disney show or something to that effect, and at the end of week eight, Steph, our amazing camp director, writes an original show, so they'll be doing that. So it's gonna be fun. We just arrived at Ecole de la Dicée, um in the West Island. It used to be called Thorndale. Oh wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Go straight. <laughs> do you want me to? Do you want me to drive? Go for it. Yeah, because I'm like not sure what's happening here. Okay, as long as you hold that. Are you in a puddle? So this gym is where we're running our camp. So we're gonna do all the workshops. The show will actually be in here. Then behind us, we have a stage, but I think the school currently, well, they, not I think, they have a setup on stage. So I think they just did their production for the end of the year. So hopefully they'll move that by the time we need it. Um, but essentially we just need to set up our stations, but I don't know what exactly we're doing just yet. But at least they've got their chairs. They've got folding tables too. Uh, they have calf tables. So we'll probably just set this up in the back corner. That'll be like the staff corner. So as the executive director of Overture with the Arts, I'm going to be at the camp probably several times a week. I won't be here every single day full time. We've got uh, three full time employees and two counselors in training. So I'll pop in probably two, three times a week, but I just, I have too many other things, so I can't be here Monday to Friday, nine to five, but I'll still be here. You walk it? Oh, there we go. We just dropped everything off at the school. Uh, we're gonna come early Monday morning to set up for our camp. Um, we're excited to see the kids. Um, we'll be here at 7 a.m. on Monday. <laughs> so bright and early, but at least we dropped off the stuff. We'll set and organize everything uh, Monday morning for you know the campers to come, and it should be a really fun summer. So thank you for watching, and please support.